Sayan. Okay, so what was on the agenda today? Aaj kya karna tha? Bataiye. कौन सा चैप्टर पढ़ना था कुछ क्वेश्चन आंसर करने थे भी मुझे याद नहीं रहता मैं बहुत सारी क्लास पढ़ाती हूँ मुझे याद नहीं आता मैम फिफ्थ चैप्टर इंडस्ट्री का मैम क्वेश्चन आंसर डिस्कस करना था आज इंडस्ट्रीज के क्वेश्चन आंसर डिस्कस करने थे अच्छा कोई चैप्टर हमारा बाकी है क्या सिलेबस में नो no, मैम हिस्ट्री पूरा हो गया हमारा मैम हिस्ट्री का नेशनल मूवमेंट हिस्ट्री में वेमेन एजुकेशन कास्ट एंड रिफॉर्म हम लोग कर चुके हैं राइट यस मैम नेशनल मूवमेंट बचा हुआ है इसमें और हिस्ट्री में हम लोग कंप्लीट कर चुके हैं एसपीएल कर चुके हैं एक काम करते हैं आज हम लोग द मीटिंग ऑफ नेशनल मूवमेंट को थोड़ा देखते हैं क्लास एज में क्योंकि इसमें थोड़ा सा हमें टाइम लगेगा उसके बाद हम लोग जो है क्वेश्चन आंसर डिस्कस करेंगे दोनों के साथ में यहाँ पे नेशनल मूवमेंट से क्या समझ रहे हो तुम लोग होल इंडिया प्रोटेस्टेड अगेंस्ट द ब्रिटिश पावर बेसिकली इन लोगों ने हमारे पूरे सिलेबस में इस चीज को कंप्राइज करने की कोशिश करी कि हाउ वी गॉट अंडर देयर कंट्रोल एंड अनदर हाउ वी स्टार्टेड द प्रोसेस ऑफ गेटिंग आउट ऑफ द कंट्रोल ये पूरा कहते हैं ना एक पूरा सर्कल यहाँ पे कंप्लीट हो गया है तो हमने बहुत सारी चीजें देखी कि ब्रिटिशर्स ने क्या किया हमने किस तरीके के रिफॉर्म लाने की कोशिश करी एजुकेशन में क्या चेंजेस आए हम लोगों ने कितने अलग अलग तरीके की कोशिशें करी हैं तो द मेकिंग ऑफ नेशनल मूवमेंट बहुत सारी चीजों से ये इंस्पायर हुआ इंडिया में राइस ऑफ नेशनलिज्म क्यों हुआ ये एक चैप्टर इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि ये चैप्टर एक्सटेंड होके क्लास टेंथ का सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर बनेगा थोड़ा ध्यान से पढ़ना भले ही टाइम ले लेना लेकिन इसमें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स हैं अभी कर लोगे क्लास टेंथ में प्रॉब्लम नहीं आएगी आपको आई विल जस्ट स्टार्ट द वीडियोस फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस कॉजेज ऑफ द राइस ऑफ नेशनलिज्म हमने इतना देख लिया कि इतना अत्याचार तो चल ही रहा था लेकिन ऐसा क्या हुआ कि एकदम से लोगों के अंदर इच्छा जागी कि नहीं अब तो हमें अलग होना इनके कंट्रोल से बाहर जाना है लेट्स सी By the mid 19th century, British political and economic policies had led many Indians to the darkness of despair. But certain events and developments invoked a growing sense of nationalism among Indians and culminated in the outright fight for independence. Take each factor to learn more about how it contributed to the rise of nationalism in colonial India. Vote of 1857 was a major turning point in the rise of Indian nationalism. The hanging of Mangal Pandey had sparked instant anger against the British and created a revolutionary mindset. People began to idolize contemporary revolutionaries like Rani Lakshmi Bai, Nana Saheb, and 
Mangal Pandey who raised their voices against the British. The revolt of 1857 paved way for several uprisings that expressed rebellion against the British rule. Growing access to Western education, Indians were exposed to new ideologies like liberty, democracy and nationalism that were evolving in other countries. These ideas helped Indians recognize the cruelty and exploitation of colonial rulers. Further, a country of diverse languages now became united with English as the common language of communication. The British imposed uniform laws in all their territories in India. This uniformity of law across the country further created a sense of common national identity. With the development of roads and railways and postal and telegraph systems, communication gaps were bridged. It became easier for Indians to share ideas and unite for a common purpose. Reformers like Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar, Swami Vivekanand, Swami Dayanand and others instilled a sense of national pride and self-confidence among Indians. Rather than targeting the British, they worked hard to eradicate social evils within the Indian society such as sati and child marriage. Regional press reached out to non-English readers and conveyed ideas of nationalism to Indians in the farthest corners of the country. Regional newspapers highlighted the unfairness of British policies and urged Indians to unite and work for the betterment of the nation. Novelists, authors, and poets too aroused patriotic feelings among Indians through compositions in local languages. Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay's poem, Vande Mataram, inspired the Indians in their struggle for freedom. During British rule, India was forced to export raw materials to England at low prices and import finished goods at high prices. Originally a self-sufficient country, India grew steadily poor under these policies. Punishing taxes, failing incomes, industrial decay, different attitude of the British all combined 
to create a common sense of rebellion against the British. The Indians were always looked down upon by the British and were never treated as equals. Indians were not allowed to enter parks, libraries, hospitals, clubs, and railway coaches that were reserved for English men and women. Indians were also not allowed to hold any higher administrative post in their country. The Albert Bill controversy was a major trigger in the rise of nationalism. According to the bill, Indian judges could hold trial for any accused European or British person. The British refused to be judged by any Indian and strongly opposed the bill. The agitation that followed came to be known as the White Mutiny. This racial prejudice angered the Indian and highlighted the need for an all-India organization to voice their concerns. Growing nationalist sentiments led to the formation of several political associations like the Pune Sarvajanik Sabha, Madras Mahajan Sabha, the Indian Association and the Bombay Presidency Association. These associations were formed to represent the Indians as a united body. Ultimately, it was the formation of the Indian National Congress in 1885 that united Indian leaders and represented the country in its final struggle for freedom. These are basically all the points that we have seen in the course so far. Sub milke, they cumulatively became a reason as to why the, there was discontentment among people, how it started and how people started feeling like now we need to get out of under British control. Ye sare jo point hai, ye basically aapke jitne purane chapter hai, sab ki ek summary hai. Revolt, jo education spread hui, transport communication, jo social reforms se changes aaye, growth of regional press and literature, economically jo exploitation chal raha tha throughout this time, the discrimination that people faced on the basis of their race, the Ilbert Bill, Bill controversy, jiske andar in logo ne कंट्रोल इंडियन के हाथों में इंडियंस के हाथों में से और ले लिया फिर सबसे आखिरी की पॉलिटिकल एसोसिएशंस इन लोगों ने फॉर्म करने शुरू कर दिए देन दे स्टार्टेड रियलाइजिंग दैट देयर इज अ वे बाय व्हिच वी कैन गेट आउट ऑफ द ब्रिटिश कंट्रोल द अर्ली फेज of the nationalist movements, the moderates and radicals. Yahan par samajne ki baat ye hai ki moderates wo who were pushing for some changes. Thoda sa change, moderately. Thoda thoda. Radicals, those who were pushing for radical, it means dramatic changes. Let's see how they affected the course of this movement.
The establishment of the Indian National Congress in 1885 marked a new chapter in India's freedom struggle. The activities undertaken by the Indian National Congress from 1885 until independence can be broadly classified into three phases. The moderate phase, the extremist phase and the Gandhian era. The moderate phase was led by Congress leaders from the educated middle class that demanded administrative reforms, civil rights and economic benefits in the larger interest of all segments of society. Under administrative reforms, they demanded greater voice for Indians in administration. This would be possible by giving Indians more representation in the Legislative Council. They demanded high positions for Indians in the government. For this, they demanded that the civil service examinations be held in India and not just in London. Some other reforms included separation of the judiciary from the executive, repeal of the Arms Act and freedom of speech and expression. The demand for Indianization of the administration arose as most important jobs at the time were monopolized by white officials. The British generally assumed that Indians could not be given positions of responsibility. Also, the British officers were sending a major part of their large salaries home. The moderates hoped that Indianization would also reduce the drain of wealth to England. The moderates also raised their voice on economic issues such as the unfair system of land revenue that had impoverished the peasants and the zamindars, especially in times of famine. Export of food grains to Europe had further caused food shortages. The Congress leaders demanded a reduction in land revenue, resolutions on salt tax, cut on military expenditure, more funds for irrigation, better treatment to be accorded to Indian laborers abroad. They also highlighted the suffering of the forest dwellers that had been caused due to interference by the Forest Administration. The moderates wanted to create an awareness of the unjust British practices, so they published newspapers and wrote articles to highlight how the British rule was leading to economic ruin of the country. They criticized the British rule in their speeches. The moderates believed that the British had respect for ideals of freedom and justice and hence would listen to their demands, so they gave petitions to the government to make them aware of the feelings of Indians. By the 1890s, Indians started questioning the political style of the Congress. Leaders like Lala Lajpat Rai, Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Bipin Chandrapal criticized the moderates for their methods of peaceful agitation and started a more radical approach to gain freedom. They envisaged India as an independent, self-sufficient and a self-reliant nation. In this context, they believed that Indian people must rely on their own strength and not on the good intentions of the then government. They also propagated the idea of Swaraj or self-rule. Bal Gangadhar Tilak raised the slogan, Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. The biggest challenge to nationalism came when Lord Curzon partitioned the Bengal Presidency in 1905 on the grounds of administrative convenience. However, the administrative convenience was only in the interests of the British. The larger motive was probably to weaken the influence of Bengali nationalists, dividing the province would weaken the Bengali influence. This move infuriated the people all over India. 
all sections of society opposed this move. The Congress, whether the moderates or the radicals, were united on this issue and strictly opposed the partition. All over the country, people protested. Meetings were held, demonstrations organized, and new methods of mass protests adopted. They sought to oppose the British rule by boycotting foreign institutions and goods, encouraging Saudi enterprises, demanding national education, and promoting the use of Indian languages. This form of protest came to be known as the Swadeshi movement. The movement was strongest in Bengal, but its impact was felt all over the nation. In 1906, a group of Muslim landlords and Nawabs formed the All India Muslim League in Dhaka. The League supported the partition of Bengal. In turn, they demanded for separate electorates for Muslims. This demand was conceded in 1909. Some seats in the Legislative Council were now reserved for Muslims who would be elected by Muslim voters. Meanwhile, the Congress split in 1907. The moderates were opposed to the use of boycott. They felt that it involved the use of force. After the split, the Congress came to be dominated by the moderates, with Tilak's followers functioning from outside. The two groups reunited in December 1915. In the following year, the Congress and the Muslim League signed the historic Lucknow Pact and decided to work together for a representative government in the country. Which of the following administrative reforms did The 20th century ushered in a change in the political history of colonial India. Lord Curzon, the then Viceroy, decided to divide the province of Bengal into two, Bengal and Eastern Bengal. given was that Bengal was too large a province to be governed by an administrator. But the real reasons behind the partition were believed to be very different. For the one, Bengal was at the heart British wanted to weaken this strong base. Dividing it under two administrations would help in suppressing the Bengali influence. Another reason was to divide the Bengalis on the basis of religion. 
religion by setting the Hindus and the Muslims against each other. Hence, Lord Curzon proposed the division of Bengal on July 20th, 1905. The proposal was formally accepted and granted by the British in September of the same year. Finally, Bengal was partitioned on October 16, 1905. The division of the province was as follows. Bengal included the western districts of Bengal proper, parts of present-day Orissa and Bihar. Calcutta was the capital of and Eastern Bengal would comprise of the Eastern districts of the Bengal Presidency and Assam. Dhaka was declared as the new capital of this region. The partition not only hurt the sentiments of the Bengalis but also shook the faith of the rest of the country. The Indian nationalists clearly saw how efficiently the British had executed the policy of divide and rule on the basis of territorial and religious grounds. movement was started on August 7, 1905. On this day, a large crowd staged a demonstration at the town hall in Calcutta. The British, paying no heed to the Indian sentiments, partitioned Bengal October 16, 1905. This day was observed as the day of national mourning throughout Bengal. The day the partition came into effect, people rallied across the streets of Calcutta by walking barefoot, bathed in the sacred Ganges and fasted for the whole day. They sang songs like Bande Mataram and Amar Shonar Bangla, penned by Aurobindo Ghosh and Rabindranath Tagore, respectively. Both Hindus and Muslims celebrated the sacred ceremony of Raksha Bandhan to express their strong unity. There was a large demonstration where the last speech of nationalist leader Anand Mohan Bose was read out at the time of laying the foundation of the Federation Hall that was to symbolize the unity of Bengal. Thereafter, people of both Bengals joined in and promised to follow Swadesh. This anti-partition movement slowly spread among the common masses and thereby with the national movement of India. Thus, the partition of Bengal and the anti-partition movement that followed further gave shape to Swadeshi and boycott movements. Soon, the momentum of the Indian national movement was given a new dimension by radical leaders like Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Lala Lajpat Rai, Bipin Chandrapal and Aurobindo Ghosh.
yes kuch story samajh pa rahe ho or is it becoming a little bit too difficult for you maine isse liye rok diya mujhe aisa lag raha hai ki ab thodi der baad sir ke upar se jaane lag jayega see the whole idea is that different type of leaders emerged different types of leaders had different kind of ideology indian national movement saalon saal chala hai for many decades there were different type of ideologies there were different ways by which people fought for the independence of the nation abhi hum logon ne radicals aur moderates matlab jo congress ka earliest version tha humne usko dekha ab iske baad hum log congress ka gandhian phase dekhenge ki gandhi ji aaye uske baad kitna change aaya aur kis technique se they basically started the independence struggle very differently and how we finally achieved the independence yahan tak agar tum logon ko koi dikkat aa rahi hai to poocho ko ki iske baad ab part thoda alag tarike se chalega beta padh lo agar abhi bhi book nahi padh rahe ho bahut takleef hogi tumhe final ke paper mein aur uske alawa जो चैप्टर हम लोग नहीं देने वाले हैं एग्जाम में मैं उन्हें भी पढ़ाऊंगी तो अगर तुम लोग पढ़ के मुझसे क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछोगे तो मैं तो जो सिलेबस में नहीं आ रहा है वो भी पढ़ाना शुरू कर दूंगी इट्स अप टू यू फाइंड आउट योर क्वेश्चंस। फर्स्ट इट इज अबाउट योर डाउट्स अगर आप लोग डाउट्स नहीं ला रहे हैं मेरे पास बहुत सारी चीजें आप पढ़ाने के लिए मैं आपको आगे कंटिन्यू करके पढ़ाती चली जाऊंगी आई होप दट क्लियर टू एवरी सो दैट विल बी ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू एंड साई राम नेक्स्ट क्लास में हम लोग इस चैप्टर को कंप्लीट करेंगे और जो जोग्राफी का चैप्टर बचा उसके क्वेश्चन आंसर को भी डिस्कस करेंगे